Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is another video. Today I'm going to be talking about entities and how we can use them in memory. So for those of you that aren't familiar, uh, that is not the right tab. Uh, Langchain supports a ton of different memory types and memory types are important because, you know, within the context of a chatbot or, you know, something that requires some sort of memory, it's going to be important to have some way to manage that and store that in a seamless way when you're working with large language models. So today I'm going to be talking about the entity memory. Um, basically, you know, the way it works is that as you are talking with the chatbot, it's extracting keywords and those are the entities out of the conversation. And then we are storing information for each of those keywords. So then when you ask it questions later about specific things that we talked about, you will be able to or it will be able to find that information a bit easier. So let's just kind of walk through that now. Pip install, all the things we need, load the environment variables up, and let's just get into it. So first, we're importing OpenAI uh, as a model. We're importing the conversation entity memory, and we're getting an LLM with temperature zero. So before I show you how to do with Langchain, we're going to do it first with uh, just the memory, just to show you how it works. So I'm going to say memory is conversation entity, entity memory, and it takes an argument of an LLM, and I'll tell you why in a, in a second. Uh, next, we're getting the input. So we're saying Merck is a developer who loves building music. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we're loading that into memory, and then we're saving the context. So this is going to be like saving to the chat history as well. So we're saving the input, and we're also saving the uh, the response, like the response, obviously not response. So what's happening here is actually, you see load memory variables. We are using a chain and we are, we have a prompt called entity extraction prompt. And this is actually the prompt that is used to prompt the LLM in this call to pull out specific entities from the conversation that's being had. So that's like high level of like kind of why we need to pass in an LLM. So as you can see, memory load variables, the history is uh, humans, human says Merck is a developer, loves, loves music. Uh, next one says, yeah, oh, that's awesome. That's the AI. Um, and the entities we have are Merck and it says Merck is a developer who loves music. Okay. You can also return this with uh, the human message, AI message objects that you get when you're having conversations with chatbots. So just to show you that here, uh, you see it's, you can you have the history in the human message format, AI message format. So if you have that preference, then by all means go for it. So now to get into how this would look with a conversation chain. So we are creating our conversation chain with the prompt being the entity memory conversation template and we have the entity memory being passed in. So we're gonna start the conversation. <laughs> Merck is also a bodybuilder with a motorcycle. Let's let's do that so we can see like the difference. Maybe it'll make another entity. Uh, I'll say he is going to Austin, Texas for a show. So we're saying this, it says you are human. So I'm just showing you what the prompt is after formatting. We have the context, Austin, Texas. Okay, so we have other entities, but nothing about it. And just to show you what we have now, conversation memory entity store. So Merck is a developer. Okay, so, oh, we have an entity, Austin. Austin is a city in Texas known for its environmental culture. Texas is a state in Texas, or a state in the United States, Jesus. Uh, okay, let's see what else. He's working on a new way to, to let people create content. It's letting people create with AI voices. And it's running. And so you see what sounds like, that sounds like an interesting project. What kind of content can people create with AI voices? So mainly clips, blah, blah, blah. What do you know about Merck? Okay. 
So Mark is a developer, so it shows you all the things it knows. I think it's finished, almost. Mark is a developer who loves music and builds software, and is also a bodybuilder with a motorcycle who's going to Austin, Texas for a show. He's currently working on a new way to let people create content with AI voices, mainly clips for now, but with plans to expand the capabilities soon. So boom, that is how to use conversation chain with entity memory. I haven't really used it, honestly, before, so I might because I kind of like its setup. It's pretty intuitive, like kind of how I would think I would remember things in a conversation like, oh, I'm talking to Joe and Joe goes to this school or he goes to work here and I'm like, okay, so I have Joe in my head and I have this other thing in my head and they're related, um, but they also have information about each about the, their individual selves. So I do like this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop a comment. If you like it, drop a comment. If you hate it, drop a comment. Uh, like, subscribe, join the Friday Lunch Discord. And uh, yeah, there's no outro, so uh, goodbye.